What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to color a tiger print on a dress. Now as you can see I have one of my original characters here and I left the dress completely blank so I can show you guys how to do this tiger print pattern. Now for this video I'm going to be using Copic markers and the markers I'll be using are YR14, YR16, YR68, R08, E08, and EO9. So those are the colors I'll be using. And you're also gonna need a black marker. You can use a Copic marker or you can use a Sharpie, whatever you have. I am gonna be using a Copic marker. I may end up gravitating towards one of my Ahuhu brush markers. And I also have a big fat Sharpie that I can use to color in some lines. So you can use any black marker, whatever you have will work, but you will need a black for this video. So without further ado, let's get started. So what I'm gonna do first is take my YR14 and give this dress a base color. And since this is a tiger print, I'm gonna make it orange because a tiger is orange and black. And I know there's a lot of white spaces everywhere, but as we blend these colors together, we'll be getting rid of these white spaces at the same time. So let's grab our YR16 and add a mid-tone. Well, this is one of our mid-tones actually. So we can apply this in a lot of areas. So it'll kind of work as like a plan B to our base tone. So you can apply this in literally anywhere, but in the shadowy parts, that's where we're gonna apply lots of it. So like, I haven't really determined a light source for this character, but let's assume the light source is behind the character. So let's apply this color to wherever we see contour lines pretty much. And that's what you can do with pretty much any mid-tone that you use. I have some areas up here. And as you're applying this mid-tone, you also want to give your other markers a lot of space so you can blend the other colors together. Because I, altogether I have six colors for the initial color of the dress, the orange. Because like all, all these colors plus this is six. So we want to give extra space so we can blend the rest of the colors. Okay. And let's go back with our YR14 and blend it back together. And as you can see, we ended up in succeeding with the blending, but we don't have a lot of contrast yet. But that's because we haven't applied all the other colors yet. So let's go in with our third color, which is YR68, this pure orange. Can't see much of that still, but um, we're getting there. We're getting there. Just hold tight. And now let's add our R08. And with this sort of scarlet, red-ish color, you start to see a difference in value. If you don't know what value is, it's how light or how dark a color is. And compared to the orange that we just put down, this color, this R08, is much darker. And it helps us achieve shadows. And that's exactly what I'm trying to go for when it comes to blending markers. Now let's go back with our YR68 and try to blend that together. Okay, now we're gonna work backwards again by adding our YR14 again. Okay. 
Okay, and now let's go with our EO8, which is our next shade. And it's not very visible, but let's still apply it. Because our EO9 is our darkest shadow, or our darkest shade actually. So the EO8 will help us blend the EO9 back in with the other colors. So after we apply that, let's go in with that color, EO9. And let's add a few layers as we apply it. So let's go over the same stroke like a couple times just to achieve a darker value compared to the other colors. So that way we can see some shadows. Okay, and then from here on out, we can work backwards. So let's go in with our E08 again and blend our darkest shade back in with the other colors. And now we got R08. Now we have YR68. Now we got YR16. And last but not least, we have our YR14. And this is gonna help us blend all those colors back together smoothly. All right, and now that the dress is nice and blended, we won't need our colored markers anymore. So all the colors that we use to color the dress, we can put those away. And from here on out, we're just gonna be using black markers. Now, you can use any marker brand, or if you have a black marker with a certain kind of tip, you can use that as well. But we'll be using these black markers to draw tiger stripes on the dress. And since tiger stripes kind of taper at the end, you may want to use a black brush marker for this. Or if you have a brush pen, that'll work as well. But either way, you're going to need a brush pen for this. With me, I might just end up using my Pentel Sign Pen, my Copic Brush Pen, or my Sharpie. I might just use this Sharpie just to color in the lines. But again, that's really up to you. But what I am going to do is take my Pentel Sign Pen and just begin to make a tiger stripe on one side of the dress. So it's going to be triangle shaped, so it's going to taper close to the middle, like this. I'm going to thicken that line a little bit. And then I'm not going to use this pen to color it in, but what I am going to use is my Copic Black Marker. So I'm going to color that in. And I might have to end up layering a couple times, but what I am trying to achieve is a solid black. But you don't have to go that far, but that's up to you. But what I am going to do is smoothen that outline, because that looks a little off, but it looks a lot better now. But there's one tiger stripe. Let me do another one. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And you also may notice that I did one tiger stripe on one side and I'm starting the next tiger stripe on the other side of the dress. So that way as I continue down, there's like a pattern, left, right, left, right, left, right. So that's what I'm trying to do with the tiger print. So I'm going to make another stripe that goes to the right hand side. Then I'm going to make it kind of taper. It's okay if it goes further than the middle, but... It's still okay. All right, and now let me grab my Sharpie this time and color that area in. I might have to end up double coating it. And there we go. 
So in time lapse, I'm gonna apply these tiger stripes all throughout the dress, and then I'm gonna come back to you guys and end the video. So, let's go. All right, and there you go. That's how you color a tiger print, especially on a dress like this. So if you liked the video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I